Welcome to Direct U.S. Immigration's channel, where you get direct access to our most up-to-date immigration and global mobility space. My name is Matreya Brown, and I'm going to talk about things you can and cannot do while on a K-1 visa, fiancé visa. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Matreya Brown and I am a U.S. immigration attorney based in Washington, D.C. I'm also the principal attorney at Direct U.S. Immigration, where we work with uh, clients in all 50 states and around the world. Before we start, click on the like and subscribe button to follow our immigration hub to get the latest immigration information that could be vital to your case. As you know, with the K-1 visa, you are required to marry within 90 days after entering the U.S. So today, we're here to discuss things that you can and cannot do while on the K K-1 visa um, so that you don't violate the terms of your fiancé visa. So as background, the K-1 visa is for the foreign partner of a citizen of the United States. So the foreign partner must reside outside of the U.S., be legally free and able to marry, have met the U.S. citizen partner in person within the previous two years, though some exceptions do apply, and have no major criminal convictions in order to submit an application for the K-1 fiancé visa. So here are the things that you are allowed to do while on a K-1 visa. So you can work in the United States as a K-1 visa holder only if you've applied for and acquired a work permit after entering the country. You can obtain a social security number, which is usually required when applying for credit cards, working, or attending college. Um, and of course, it is possible to attend college. Uh, however, that will depend on the institution and the type of schooling. You can also volunteer. Uh, you can file taxes jointly with your U.S. citizen spouse if you have a Social Security card or an ITIN. Um, and then you can also travel domestically within the U.S. while on that K-1 visa, whether it is within the 90-day term or thereafter. So here are the things that you are not allowed to do while on a K-1 visa. So first, uh, the individual on the K-1 visa cannot leave the U.S during those first 90 days of being inside the U.S. So after the fiancé marries the petitioning U.S. citizen, uh, that individual must remain in the U.S. and start the adjustment of status process. So they must start that green card application process. Now second, like I just kind of mentioned, you will not be able to go overseas until you acquire either that green card or the advanced parole document, which you can obtain while the green card is pending. Now, and, and this is because the fiancé visa is only valid for one entry into the United States and, and so therefore you can't leave and then return back on it. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe if this content or information helps you in any way. Comment below if you want me to talk about something in specific and share this resource because you never know who needs answers to these questions. I'll see you in the next one.